Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number 20. In this tutorial we will demonstrate the use of textures, image textures. The first thing to do is to add a material to the object that will be textured. Press the plus button to add a slot and press new. Change the color so that we can see what's happening. Then go to the texture tab create a new texture and use image or movie go down to open and find your image This image has um, some transparency. I'll press the both button. And I want this image to be attached to every, I want the texture to be evenly distributed over this cube. So what I'll do is the mapping, I will change to cube. We'll go back to 3D view. It's all all the vertices are selected. So we can choose the materials tab and assign the material. Press F12 and the texture is added or apparent on all of the sides. Press 7 on the keypad and get orthogonal view by pressing 5 and um, tab to go back to object mode select the light shift D and move it over and shift D to duplicate the light again and F12 to render and uh, this is how this texture is applied if you choose a texture that doesn't have transparency or alpha um, it will cover accordingly to how your size settings are so let's go back to let's select the object by pressing the right mouse button and go back to the texture tab look at our size and enter 10 for each of the coordinates there see what that looks like press F12 and there you have this texture applied as a kind of wallpaper pattern if you would like to you can also change the offset let's change the Y offset to let's say 5 and the X offset to 10, and the C offset to 20, and um, just UV. this way you can basically figure out what it is that you need to do to get your texture applied in whatever fashion can go back to So this way you can apply a image texture to your object, either have it fully covering or like in this case have a multitude of the of this texture image 
plastered on the object. So this is just the basic, very first step in using textures, image textures. There's a lot to cover in this, but I just wanted to briefly touch on it so that there's room for experimentation. I thank you for listening, and uh, this is the end of this tutorial. I talk to you soon, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.